Watch this. Chibli can never. At least Chibli's got a denim jacket. Jean jackets kind of... So they were big when I was a kid. Like really young. Um, and then they were not in vogue for a while. But then they became in vogue again. For like a year and a half. Are they already gone? Fashion is cyclic? Yeah, but like the ramen noodle haircut for men has been around for like five, six years now. No one does ramen hair anymore. You need to... Um, I don't know where you live, but it sounds like you live in Ohio. This is a great big world out there. There's a lot of ramen, broccoli haircuts out there. What's interesting is it's, so it's very popular with uh, young men. If you see a young man by himself, he will not have the ramen hair. But if you see a group of young men, I would say between the ages of 13 and 21, they will all have the broccoli hair, which indicates to me, and this is the insidious part, it's a self-propagating haircut. Like it's, it's a mimetic haircut that gets uh, transferred from like a host to, to another host. I thought we were talking about JT ramen. Well, Justin Timberlake, it's a different kind. It's ramen for sure, but it's more in the same vein as almost, I would call it like a, a mid-length Chad Kroger type ramen haircut. I'm talking more about the, the shaved sides and the broccoli on top. That's frosted tips. No, no, you got it confused. Justin Timberlake, he, you can't have frosted tips when you have curly hair. He had, I'll admit, he had like a, a prototype Maruchan ramen haircut. He, he might be patient zero, but he, he, it was within containment back then. Somehow TikTok has allowed it to breach. Sometime the ramen noodle, I don't know why I said sometime. <laughs> I've undermined my point. Sometimes the ramen noodle haircut looks good. I'm not saying it looks bad. I'm just saying it is, uh, it's everywhere. Mullets? No, you got young people confused with Jean de Carouge from Ridley Scott's The Last Duel. Now, it's a, uh, you're based for making the error, but it's erroneous nonetheless. Holy cow, someone mentioned Kitsilano in here. We got a real Vancouver head. And they didn't even say Kitsilano, they said Kits. That's how you know they're living in East Van. Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, man. You got me with the East Van, too? I know, because East Van, I mean, what are you doing calling somebody from Kits, like using the shorthand as if they were the hipster, bro? You ever walk down Commercial Drive? Shit is mullet central. And not just the men, but the women and children, too. As Hayden Christensen, noted Vancouver native, would say. You ever seen him? No. <laughs> I don't think... The only famous person I've ever seen in Vancouver is Dan Bayar. Dan Bejar? Dan Behar? And even then, I didn't know 100% that it was him until he had already passed me by. I was walking on the, uh, on the seawall. I saw a very cool-looking middle-aged man who looked like Destroyer walk by me. And I said, huh, that guy looks familiar. And then, like, I did the, the meme where, um, you know, the one where the distracted boyfriend, is that it? Where he's walking away and he looks back. I saw Cole Sprouse in a Mount Pleasant sandwich shop in 2019. Okay, but here's the important question. What's the, uh, what sandwich shop? It's called Cafe Tika. It's not a chain. All right, I don't know it. You got me there. You Vancouver hipstered me. I didn't think it would be a chain, by the way. I just thought possibly I would, heard, I would have heard of it. You know, I've, I've spent some time in Mount Pleasant. Cole Sprouse fought my dad. Hey, this is a good time for me to admit, I don't know who Cole Sprouse is. Is he on one of those, like, CW shows? <laughs> I've heard his name before. He's like a, a young adult actor, right? He's from The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. He's Dylan Sprouse's brother? I don't know who Dylan Sprouse is either, bro. I don't know shit about the Sprouse clan. He's also on Riverdale. Oh, like Charles Melton? Exactly like Charles Melton. Okay. <laughs> you know him from Big Daddy? He's the kid from Big Daddy? And he's on Riverdale? Wouldn't he, He's like my age then. Who the hell did he play? Principal Weatherby? <laughs> I can't believe. I remember Archie's principal's name, man. Thank you, Brain. 
That was like the perfect way to finish that one off. One time Justin Chatwin tossed a firecracker at my brother when we were kids in Nanaimo. Finally, we're dealing with an A-lister. Justin Chatwin, of course, most famous for Dragon Ball Evolution, where he played Goku, by the way. He wasn't a bit part in that movie. That's a deep pull. It's literally all I know him from, to be honest with you. <laughs> I once ran into Greg Proops. I don't really think I've met anybody famous. There was like, uh, well, I went to school with Michael A.L. Fox, but uh, at Champions of Fire 1, there was a, a meet and greet arranged for us. And Amazon staff that are watching this, I don't blame you, okay? It was a zero interest rate environment. You know, but it, it just didn't seem like a fit to me that after the event, we went to like a, um, the, the club in Caesar's Palace and there was a meet and greet with Chuck the Iceman Liddell. Like I had just gotten through two days of playing Amazon Kindle Fire games for money. <laughs> then, but like we showed up too late to meet Chuck the Iceman Liddell, which honestly seemed fine because I don't watch the UFC. So I really would have just been like taking a picture just to be like, hey, this is a guy someone told me is famous. Like it's better for him to have his time for himself than wasted with me. Who's? It's not like I'm not a fan because I don't like him. I just don't know who he is. And that's like, I don't know. I guess at Champions of Fire 2, I didn't realize that DJ Rehab is actually like a pretty famous DJ. So I met him and spent some time on the couch with him and shook his hand and stuff like that. But it was only like years later that I discovered that he's actually like famous. Other than that, get Dan, man. Dan is pretty famous in certain circles. Anyway, I, I, I don't, I've never met that many famous people, honestly. And I'm out and about, which means they must not be out and about. I guess when they come to Vancouver, they're, they're hiding. <laughs> or we're not running in the same circles. Crazy, I never ran into like Logan Paul picking my kid up from Jimboree. Otherwise, the most, I don't count this because it's, it's getting high on your own supply. The most famous people I've ever met are like other streamers and YouTubers. But like, I'm also in the business, so I almost don't count it, right? That would be like, well, maybe this is getting high on my own supply. So I think it would be like asking Meryl Streep, like who the most famous person she'd ever met is. <laughs> and she'd be like, you know, I'm like uh, an actress. I actually think like just seeing a famous person, I wouldn't walk up to them and say like, I recognize them. It would have to be someone that like, I don't know whose work like I I really 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 identify with. Like I've been talking up Matt Damon. If I was at a subway and Matt Damon was in front of me, I don't think I would say hey hey Matt Damon, I love your work. I think I would just let Matt Damon I would give him the gift of, of solitude. He's the hate crime guy? No, that's Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> no allegedly required. But put some respect on Matt Damon's name. Just because he's from Boston doesn't mean he's, he's committed a hate crime. <laughs> That's just Mark Wahlberg and then like some other guys, I'm sure. But I don't know. We, we've never heard that about Matt Damon. What am I going to say to Matt Damon? Hey, you're Matt Damon? He's going to be like, you're right. I haven't heard that one before. <laughs> I'm going to be like, I enjoyed the movies you act in. And he's going to be like, That's why we make them. I'm sure the bro's just trying to, he's probably doing the same thing that I'm doing, rehearsing the order in my head so that I get the ingredients right when I get up to the front. Hi, can I have a foot long Italian herbs and cheese uh, oven roasted chicken breast, please? Yes, cheese and toasted. Like, are you just repeating that over and over in my head? Me, when the call of the void hits at Subway. Hi, can I have a foot long cock? I mean, oh fuck, a foot long penis. Um, can I have a foot of <laughs> dick in? <laughs> Um, 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 I mean, can I have cheese and toasted penis? Uh, can I get toasted peanut butter and jelly? Uh, although I will say, I have a, a friend who used, and this, we're going several layers deep here. I have a friend who lived in an apartment building where one of his neighbors rented, like, their side hustle their side hustle was they rented their apartment to 
actors and actresses who were in Vancouver for like long shoots. So apparently, and this is hearsay, they said that in like 2003, Halle Berry stayed in their apartment for like, I don't know, like two months while they were shooting Catwoman here. So apparently it does happen, but <laughs> yeah, they signed her basketball. <laughs> Must be a nice apartment. You know what the crazy thing was? Not really. Like, it was not a bad apartment, but it's not the kind of apartment you would expect, you know, like a Hollywood celebrity to be, like, living in. But, I mean, they're only there for two months. It's nicer than a hotel room, for sure. My neighbor is Brad Pitt's contractor, but I live in L.A., so it's more like I'm saying I know a guy. <laughs> okay, I see you. I, just... I mean, you can run the numbers, right? Like, I mean, obviously it's clumped geographically. To, to big cities, I'm sure. But how many famous people are there worldwide? Like, I, from, a, from a Western context, because obviously, like, I could have passed by celebrities, like, every day in South Korea, and I wouldn't have known. There must be, like, 50,000. And maybe any given person might recognize 2,500. And then how many... I can't do this math anymore. I've gotten too far... <laughs> I've gotten too many digits. You wouldn't recognize, you would recognize 50 famous, I'm basically asking, can you name 50 people you've never met? If the answer is no, I, I don't believe you. <laughs> you can't? Come on. You're watching, you, you got me already, and then I stream with like 12 other people. I've never met you? That's what I'm saying, but if you saw me, you would be like, I know who that is. I'm not saying you've met 2,500 famous people, are you insane? Who are you? Brad Pitt's contractor's neighbor? It's you and Smosh? That's fucking sad. You gotta look at the liner jackets of your books, man. It's just me and Smosh? This shit is gonna... You're bumming me the fuck out, dude. <laughs> I'm flattered that you recognize me and Smosh, but like, you gotta broaden your horizons a little bit on top of that. Ha <laughs> ha. 